Hello, welcome to the InventRight.com YouTube show. Check out InventRight.com to see how we've been coaching and mentoring inventors for the last 17 years. The topic for today is basically, I want to give you some observations that Steve and myself and our coaches have noticed over the years. And if your current invention or one of your inventions doesn't meet this criteria, you absolutely still can license it. I just want you guys to understand this observation because it's a very important observation. And basically what it is, is we've noticed that it's a little bit easier to license a product that is a slight improvement on something that already exists. So basically the company can go, well, I use, I use this example way too much, but well, there's, um, let's say you have a new invention and it's a barbecue spatula with a bottle opener, right? And you do your research and you find that there's 15 barbecue spatulas with bottle openers. All right. Now, what do you know? You know that there's an established market that people want to buy barbecue spatulas with bottle openers because they, the companies wouldn't be making and selling those if they didn't sell, if people didn't like that feature, what have you. And so you know that they like that. So it's an established market. It's easier for the company to go, we know people like this. Now, if you had a barbecue spatula with a bottle opener that twisted it into a funny shape, you're adding that little extra something. So when you see, you're probably not going to the store see 15, but let's say five of those at the store on the shelf or on Amazon or somewhere. And you see those barbecue specials, bottle openers, you'll get this one, this one, this one, yeah, other features too. But the consumer notice, oh, oh, that's cute. It twists the bottle cap into a funny shape. And it can give, and maybe it's the exact same price. It's $15.99 and all the other ones are $15.99. Well, I'll buy this one then, you know? So, what I'm saying is it gives the consumer a reason to purchase that product over the others and especially if you can make it at the same price or somewhat the same price, it gives them a reason to buy that one over the others and the manufacturers know this. They know that if we have this slight little tweak, not a mind bending like, oh my God, this is such a revolutionary idea kind of thing. If they have a slight improvement on something that's already there and they can market it, it makes it easier for them to compete in that micro category, in that small category. So now you can have a mind blowing idea. Can you still license that? Absolutely. But sometimes what it's doing is reducing risk for the manufacturers so they can look at it and say, oh, well, well, we know those are selling and we got this slight improvement, very low risk if it can be made at the same price and oh, we'll just change the, the way we bend the metal just a little bit like this. Okay, we can do that, you know? so. Companies love that stuff. They absolutely love it because they don't have to take a lot of risk. They don't have to do a lot of manufacturing research usually because they're usually improvements really small. Um, if it can be made at the same price, that's a big plus. So if you have a slight improvement to something that already exists, now don't make a slight improvement when only, well you can, but to, it's something that only one company makes. You know, if it's a lot of companies making this, well then you've got all those companies plus a lot more that can go, well, that's already selling well, the barbecue special, the bottle opener, he's got a slight improvement so that it makes sense. Okay, so I know this isn't rocket science, but most people do not, they feel like an invention needs to be amazing, you know, and it doesn't. Sometimes the ones that aren't so amazing, they're just like, oh, that makes sense. Yeah, I, that's cute. That's fun or that's useful and it's no more than this other one. Now, a lot of you aren't going to have ideas, most of you that fit in this criteria, but when you're inventing, when you're coming up with new ideas, if you try to license two or three ideas and you haven't been able to license them, try this and you'll increase your chances of success. Am I saying you should just work on these types of products? Absolutely not. But if you didn't know that Steven, myself, and our coaches have made this observation over 17 years of students in over 50 countries, that is a fact. It's a fact that we have observed and you can utilize if you choose to do so. So I hope you found that was really helpful. This was really helpful. And I want to catch up with you on another InventRight.com YouTube show. Take care, everybody, and keep inventing. See you. Hi, this is Stephen Key, and I just want to thank you for watching InventRight TV. We're here to save you time, save you money, and show you how you can bring your products to market through licensing. So please, subscribe down below, click on the button, and tell your friends. Thank you.